Hi, this is Ed Sobey for Kids Invent. Today we're looking at atmospheric pressure. Kind of a difficult concept to understand, but to really get a feel for weather and weather systems, you have to have a good understanding of atmospheric pressure. Look at my laptop. If you consider that there's about 1,900 pounds of air pushing down on that laptop, and watch the magic, I can pick it up. So I can pick up 2,000 pounds with my two hands. Well, it's not such a great trick, actually, because there's also pressure underneath. The pressure is everywhere, because we have this mountain of air, 50 miles high, pushing down on us. Every time you fly in an airplane, you can feel your ears pop on the way up or the way down as you relieve the pressure or you build the pressure. Or here in Fresno, if you go up into the mountains, you get up a couple thousand feet and you can hear that pressure release in your eustachian tube. So we know that air has pressure and that the more air there is, the higher the pressure. We can't really measure that pressure a lot, not very easily. What we can measure, however, is the change in pressure. So the change from yesterday to today. So we will have students building their own barometer and they can hopefully see changes from one day to the next or from one week to the next. So we have for them cans and a balloon that they can cut off the neck of the balloon, stretch it over the top of the can, and now as pressure increases, as the atmospheric pressure increases, which usually means good weather, up the straw will go, the straw that's taped to the lid of the, uh, the balloon. As the pressure in the atmosphere decreases, this will expand and the straw will go down. So here is a recording bar. They can add that, they can mark what the current pressure is, and then hopefully we'll have a nice storm go through or we'll have relief from a nice storm and they can see movement up and down as the atmospheric pressure changes from day to day. And they can look in the newspaper and listen uh, online or to a TV weather forecast and they'll hear the atmospheric pressure uh, reported every day. And we also have a primer on this for you, and I hope you'll take a look at that. So have, her, have some fun building your own barometers, and next time we'll do some serious weather predicting.